Hello, I'm Linda, and today we're going to show you how to replace a button that's come off your garment. The basic tools you'll need are a needle, thread, and scissors. And if your eyes aren't very good, it's also helpful to have a needle threader and possibly a pair of reading glasses. All right, we insert the needle threader through the eye of the needle, and then when you pull the part of the needle threader through, you should have a threaded needle. Okay, and we cut off a good length of thread. And usually when I sew on a button, I double the thread so that I don't have to make as many stitches to hold the button in place. I'm going to pull this until it's about halfway through the needle and then make a knot at the end. And there are several ways to make a knot, but I usually just make a couple of loops around my finger, put the needle through the loops, and then pull that loop to the end of the thread, and that gives you a knot at the end. So in order to hide the knot on the end, I'm going to place the needle in between the stitches on the reverse side, and then just See if I can pull it in right under here so it doesn't show. And then I can remove the old stitching from where the button used to be. And I'm going to come through to the front and thread the button on. Now you notice on these buttons when they put a button on it's not sewed completely tight to the fabric. You want to have a little bit of looseness there so it can come through and leave some space for a layer of fabric where your buttonhole is. So it's a good idea to find some small object you can put under the button so you're not sewing it too tight. You can use something like a straight pin or a needle. Sometimes I use something like a twist tie Place that under your button and just pull that so that you've got a little bit of space between your button and your fabric. And then if you have a two hole button, pretty easy to just go up through the same hole and down through the same hole. If you have a four hole button, you're going to be kind of alternating so that you hit all four holes. And probably want to go through about three times if you've doubled the thread or maybe six times if you're using just a single strand and then when you've done that you can turn to the reverse side and knot your end by anchoring it so you want to take a real small stitch pull that through till you get a loop come back through the loop with the needle and then pull it tight. And you do that maybe three times to make sure that it's gonna stay. And you can snip your end off, remove your twist tie, and that's all there is to it. It's quick and easy to replace a button. 